What's up, everybody? Yes, 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 yes. I know you guys are so accustomed to it's consulting time on Tuesdays, right? Well, no, it's not Tuesday, it's Monday. And it's consulting time is right now. And the reason it's consulting time is right now is because we feel the need to really talk to you about some of the things that have been going on in these social media streets, right? And so we're going to talk a little bit about um, public relations and journalism, because we definitely have an amazing young lady here who can speak to that and who can speak to that um, from the inside and the outside, right? Um, we have Danny G who is going to speak to identity and what it looks like when you kind of already are born with an identity and that identity is cultivated um, through your childhood and into your adolescence and into those teen years and how you sustain that as an adult. And then your girl going to talk about <laughs> these honorary doctorates. Because <laughs> y'all already know I'm all about academia. So um, it strikes a nerve sometimes. It strikes a nerve. But guys, for all intents and purposes, <laughs> please understand, we are going to speak our opinions, but they will be combined with facts. And so we're going to kick off um, this evening, just kind of letting everybody introduce themselves. And then we're going to jump into this meta verified um, or verified okay. discussion. So ladies first. <laughs> Hello, everybody. My name is Chandra Gore. I am the principal consultant and publicist for Chandra Gore Consulting. I'm also the um, the writer, the creator, the curator of Conversations with Chan. Um, it is a multifaceted media um, outlet, I will say, with a podcast, YouTube channel, um, Amazon live stream, et cetera, et cetera. But um, um, very, very proficient in the um world of comms and journalism. So that's just me. Yes. And Mr. Danny G, let the peoples know who you are and what you got going on. Hello, everyone. My name is Danny G. I am a word search author and also I am an artist myself. So, uh, yeah, that's a lot about me, I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And guys... We also want to salute Danny because he also has served our country. And that means a lot. That means a lot. I really so appreciate that. We I definitely really want to, you know, salute him for that. So, all right, let's crank it up. So, guys, I know we all have our respective opinions about what's going on with um, the meta conversations, you know, um, personally. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, you know, what I think. And then I want you guys to take it. So coming into this social media world, I can remember when, you know, you had to have a college email address, right, to have a Facebook. Yeah. And it's so interesting because in a span of like 10, 15 years, we went from you only could be a part of your network, you know, like if you went to Norfolk State or you went to what Georgia State or whatever, to now people making fake pages so that they can be keyboard gangsters. And now people actually creating whole new personalities, which probably aren't new personalities because they could have multiple personality disorder and we just don't know. But they're creating these new personalities. And now... They're getting verified under these new personalities. Oh, that I don't understand. Oh, guys, you, tell me a little bit about your understanding. Children, tell me a little bit about your understanding of this meta verified versus verified. It's a subscription. All you have it's a subscription. So this is the thing. All you have to do is have an ID to prove that you are who you say you are and your profile will be verified. You will get that check, right? And it also tells you when they subscribe. It gives you all of the information. I'm not knocking it because to each its own, right? But, you know, I would rather, I mean, I would prefer to go the conventional way and get the news placements and things of that nature to create an authentic profile. Right now, this is like a cheat code for those who want to appear to be in a certain 
bracket or whatever. And I get it. Social media is all, it's a curated story about your life or the persona that you would like to portray. This little verification is just a way to submit that whatever curated life that people want to have. I'm not knocking anybody for doing it. That's your business. That's what you want to do. But don't get on these internets acting like <laughs> you better than the next person because you receive that. And you know, if you choose to get on here to act better than everybody, this is the thing. I See, my personal thoughts is I don't care. But from a business standpoint- And I was going to say, please speak from- I, and and I hate to cut you off, but I really I really need you to key in on speak from a journalist perspective and um, from a publicist perspective. From a journalist perspective and a publicist perspective, to each its own. Um, but I want to know, you know, the publicist in me is saying, how is this going to benefit your business? How is this going to solidify? your subject matter expertise and what you want to do, or how is this in your strategic communications plan on how you want to have your brand displayed? How are How is this gonna benefit you? And then from the journalist standpoint, I always research whoever I'm interviewing. Um, and so if I see that, it's gonna give me pause because then I wanna dig, I want to myself verify your information and stuff like that. I will say that, I had one time I interviewed someone and I found out their whole entire, everything was a lie. And it messed with me a lot because it's like, so anybody can get on here, like anybody can hire a publicist and the publicist will submit that. Now it's this blue check for those who don't go the extra mile to verify that kind of information, it turns into, we don't know if we're really talking to someone who legitimately did certain things. And that now, now that part I totally agree with. Um, and that was one of the things <clears throat> that that for me I was like, you know what? Okay, this is kind of cool because now maybe this will prevent so many people's accounts from getting taken or getting hacked. You can get two two part verification, two step verification. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. But but, but, you, but you know, you know the people. The people always think I got a problem with everything. So you know, I was like, let me be a little optimistic, because you know the powers that be, they don't they don't like me. But what I realize is I see them tweaking their stuff based upon the ish that I be ranting about. So you don't like me, but you respect my opinion because you know I'm backing it by scholarly research in some form or fashion. But anyway. So what I'm what I'm what I'm hearing you say is that you know even on a a public relations and a journalism you know stance or vantage point everybody has the right to do what they want to do and I think that speaks to Darrell um Darrell and shout out to Darrell cuz he's doing the damn thing and I even used him cuz he had commented from the public you know basically saying what the public would say people can do what they want to say <laughs> do what they want to do but I think that in the grand scheme of things, people can do what they want to do as long as it is not infringing upon the rights of others. Correct. So for me, from a perspective of Jared's prudence, there are some issues with this verification situation. Because now you are giving individuals who are operating from a place of deception, you are giving them a blue check to people over. And I'm purposely trying to bleep myself because y'all know I start cussing. I know the Lord, but I start cussing when I get passionate about something. So you're giving these people a go to continue to disenfranchise other people. And you're also, for some people, guys, I'm just going to keep it real. I'm also speaking from a perspective of behavioral health. From For some individuals, you are verifying this grandiose sense of self, which further catalyzes a lot of personality disorders that are there 
that were created before social media even existed. And so from that, I'm going to step back and let Danny G. Danny G, let us know a little bit about your perspective on this, you know, verification situation and how it is impacting the community as a whole. Um, I think particularly that the people who want this verification badge are the equivalents of kids getting trophies just for participating. Um, you, you have to, there has to be some economical class differential in us. It just has to be. And I'm, I'm sorry that people want to be equivalent to everyone, but that's just not how life works. So you, you have to look at it from that standpoint of to ask yourself something. Knowing this, if you stand back and you ask yourself, how did the people before me get the blue checks, right? All right, they're established, we know them, even if they put in work or not. I know beat makers that got blue checks. I know regular people that walk around that got blue checks before this, but they earned the blue check, right? They had to do something, right? That what Miss Sandra was saying, Sandra was saying, she was saying that, they had that blue check so it was easily and readily available so that we can verify who you are. So we didn't have to go to the depths of hell to see what type of work that you put in. We know that this blue check established you to be something. So we like, okay, this person is, we want to say for a lack of words, of importance, right? Correct. So we have to, we have to ask ourselves as a regular pe person, because myself, I got 2,300 followers. I got invited to get verified, right? I have to ask myself as a word search author with 2,300 followers on Instagram, why would I need a blue check? And I have to look at myself in the mirror and say, just because you want to feel like the people who have blue checks before you. There yeah. is nothing. And, and, I am this 10 year veteran. I've did a lot of multiple things. I, I feel like that, you know, sure, I don't deserve a blue check. <laughs> I didn't do anything to impact anyone or done anything via business wise to where I deserve a blue check. And I know a lot of people might perform at a, at a show and say, after this show, I deserve a blue check. And it's like, you have to be real with yourself. We're adults. We're just adults. You're you're only purchasing, you're only purchasing this subscription. And I, I want to put it like that. You're only purchasing this subscription to show other adults that you want to feel important. Or you're like, hey, like my stuff. You're paying other adults to like your stuff. So, okay. So guys, all right. So let's, let's go back. So mm -hmm. just in case you don't know what we're talking about, um, we're talking about the new, um, newly implemented meta verified um, subscription programs. And so first and foremost, I kind of want to make sure you understand the difference between verification, the long word, mm -hmm. and meta verified, two words. Verification, the long word, is the process of which influencers, brands, and, and, and people of, I don't like using the word great importance, because honestly, a lot of people that are verified, I'm not following your ass, you can't influence me to do nothing, but, you know, people that society has deemed important go through a process where I think they have to have said amount of links and publications within Correct. a certain period of time. They do have to have, you know, maybe a certain amount of followers engagement or whatever, but they have credible sources that have told, you know, the platform who they are. That's verification, organic verification. Okay, right. thank you, Darrell. And guys, shout out to Darrell um, of um, FFTV. Darrell is over here giving you um, facts in the comments. So if you are on the Facebook Live, make sure you pay attention to Darrell. All right. And so um, he said, yeah, 10 publications. All right. 
And that's for the verification process. He said it doesn't have to do with followers and likes. Thank you for that um, clarification. It's not. Meta Verified. Meta Verified is a paid subscription. Yeah, and this is the interesting thing. You can pay $14.99 a month if yep. you do it on your Apple or Android, or you can pay $11.99 just to get verified on Facebook only. Mm -hmm. But oh. this is the kicker. This is the kicker. The meta verified only means that your account matches your name. And, and, and let me say this. For those of you that keep saying, why does this matter? And people can do what they want to do. This is why it matters. We live in a sad day when you need somebody, and I'm looking for, when you need somebody a artificial, a AI, a doggone employee, or whoever, when you need somebody to verify that this is you. Don't you know you need that day? I'm a I'ma be real. <laughs> you know what? It's the posting like them captions. The captions, the posting, like I want to thank God and my mama. Uh, yeah, I think that's what bothers me uh, the most as well. I've, I've been seeing people, and and that is exactly why we need class difference. Yeah, I'm being honest, right? Because you do have people in with five thousand followers who got the blue check and decided to go ahead and and subscribe to it, correct? But these same people are now underlined degrading the people who didn't get invited to the program or or putting it as if they did something over and beyond of the people who didn't get invited that's to the program. The, boom so, so yeah, it, it, if if is, no yeah. one if if they were just floating around and they were just like hey yeah ver uh met us doing the new verification process they invited me yay and go about their day, then nobody would ever know. Oh, but no, they, take, they putting thought into it. Like, oh, I work. No, this one got me, honey. Now I'm just going to be real transparent. Oh, my God. I'm out here doing it. Y'all see this? I see that you went in your purse like I did. And you pulled out your ID. And you scanned your ID. And you sent it to them. And they said... You are that person, but it goes back to what I said. What, what underlying issues are we dealing with that make me feel the need to not only get this blue check, but to create a caption for this blue check to make people think that I worked for it in a time when they just announced the shit. Like maybe if you waited a year from today and did it, it would make more sense. But y'all, everybody, everybody. And what they don't realize is once you do it, I've seen people's real names now have to be populated on Instagram because Meta Verified takes your legal name. Mm -hmm. And you know what's what's so funny about this whole situation? Because I'm looking at um, the opinions of others, like why are you mad at what other people are doing and stuff like that. Yeah, and it's exactly. like for me, you know how some people, like you said, it's it's a it's it's a it's a psychological thing because you know it gives credence to someone, you know, feeling like they matter and they're doing greater things or whatever. I'm not knocking it, but we need to call it what it is. I get it. Everybody wants to feel like they're one step ahead of the next man. But if you are in this game of doing something for yourself or for your family or whatever, the next man shouldn't even matter. You know what I'm saying? Besting someone should never even come into play because the authenticity that you have for yourself I get it. Kudos for you getting invited to. I've been invited to, uh, you know, and those things, they don't have credence in my world. My clients are great on their own. They don't need a little blue check 
to for them to be great at what they do. There are plenty of people who are notable because they've gotten in, and let me say this, media that is up that top tier media. Not your sister, cousin, baby father over there, magazine or media, play, you know what I'm saying? Like my, my platform will not be, is not considered a top tier news source. You get what I'm saying? When you're in the world of journalism or you're in the world of public relations, you know the categories of, let's see, uh, outlets that will give you a notable and a it will have credence into your brand. It will legitimize your brand. Not knocking smaller outlets or things like that, but let's call a spade a spade. The way that Meta looks at things is just like how it is. If you Google you know, those types of media outlets, then you will understand why certain people have gotten verified and certain people haven't. And then also there's other factors as well. Like if you have a third party person managing your social media, all of those things come into play when you're getting, when you're submitting to be verified. Unless you are someone that has a big machine behind you, then, you know, that those are exceptions to the rule. But we have to, as a people, because I'm only speaking, because I'm Black, I can only speak to Black people, no offense, anybody else. Mm -hmm. Our culture has made it a point to always have to be better than the next man. Everybody wasn't kings and queens back in the day. Somebody had to water the garden. Somebody had to raise the children. Somebody had to be the nanny. Somebody had to be clean. Nobody wants to ever think about that. Everybody's kings and queens. Okay, where the work is at? So this is where we end up with this whole mindset of nanny, nanny, boo, boo, I got a blue check, you don't. Kudos on you getting invited to the table for they take your little money, you know, I, to each his own, do what you want to do, Absolutely. but understand that you do not have to, well, hell, I can't tell you what you don't have to do. You can do what you want to do, but keep in mind what it appears to everyone else when you're trying to tell your narrative or to curate your story. And 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 I think I think that this is a great segue into discussing followers and likes. Um, and guys, let's just go back because I want to make sure that we recap this. Meta verified and verification are two separate things. Two separate things. Mm -hmm. Verification does not require all this monetary stuff. If you look at it like this, people with verification are getting paid. Right. Meta verified, mm -hmm. you're paying. Yeah. Correct. Get paid, yeah. Yeah. you pay. Yeah. Get paid, you pay. Now, granted, there are instances with this meta verified where like someone like um, Darrell, like if he were to get verified, he may elicit more business. I doubt it because to me, he's already verified. And why is he already verified? Because he's getting money off of his business. You know? No, it's more of you. If you're already, you already have it as your digital creator, or a major brand or whatever. Like like Johnson and Johnson, they verified because that is a legitimate. Oh, of company. course, they're oh, not gonna pay for the fourteen dollar uh, subscription. But if you look at someone who is a digital creator who has the amount of followers who has a who is generating a revenue from social media from Meta, mm -hmm. they're 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 they are verified. You get what I'm saying? So it's mm -hmm. all about in context of what you're doing as it towards your business or your brand. I'm not with the way that this information is so freely shared. Having a blue check is not going to increase your bottom line because you still have to show your numbers. The numbers yeah. have to match the, the uh, mutually beneficial relationship because you have macro influencers, micro influencers to get more reach, mm -hmm. more insight, mm -hmm. more views. And they could have a couple hundred followers. That means something mm -hmm. to a major brand. Mm -hmm. but having that blue check just shows that you had some money laying around and you just wanted to get it. Or you felt like that was going to set you apart. Mm -hmm. But the numbers will always speak because you could have no views, no likes, no nothing, but you paid for a check for what? 
Indeed, indeed. Everything has to make sense, you know, foundationally wise and business. Everything has to make sense. If you're, a, you're like, did you contact your tax advisor and see if you could write that off? You know what I'm saying? Like, was there a reason for you to pay that? Was there an outlining understand? I mean, some kind of business benefit for you to pay for that? These are things that questions that have to be asked and answered to individuals who are doing this. I'm not knocking anybody, but Absolutely. I was twice before paying for something that is not really beneficial or it's not going to increase your bottom line when you know there's other precipitating factors that will help you to generate a revenue from this social app. Wow, absolutely, guys. So if you're just checking in, um, we're just finishing up a conversation on Meta Verified versus Verified. And we provided you with a little, you know, some factual information on the programs. But we're also speaking from different vantage points. Um, Danny, do you have anything else about Meta Verified and Verified? Um, no, I don't. Okay. Well, this is a great segue to lead into followers and likes. Mm -hmm. Um. Guys, do y'all remember um, in elementary school, um, we had to play organized games. And one of the gym teacher's favorite games for us to play was dodgeball. Mm. And you remember. Smell that ball right now. I can smell the red. Play. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Mm. And them things mm -hmm. sting too when they hit you. Man, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd rather get a whooping. I, yes. <laughs> but. I distinctly remember there were a couple of children that were never going to get chosen. Mm -mm. We're not going to do this. And I remember hey. the physique of some of the children that didn't get chosen. I remember um, the academic level of some of the children that didn't get chosen. I remember the smell of some of the children that didn't get chosen. And I say these things to say, you know, when I look at we as grown, <laughs> well, no, 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 no. When I look at individuals over 18, and no, I'm going to even say over 30, because the sad thing is the I don't see the 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 year olds out here with this blue check because they going to buy their weed and their Jordans and all their stuff with their $14.99. Like, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I see 30, 40, and 50 year olds out here doing this. But back to likes and followers. When I when I see these things, it just takes me back to elementary school. And it takes me back to those children that never got chosen for anything. They ain't even choose themselves? No, wait a minute. They never got chosen for anything. Mm. And the teacher would have to put them on the team because nobody chose them. No, or they were the last of the pickings. So I equate that with people that are now defining themselves by likes followers. and followers. But I don't know about y'all parents, but my parents used to tell me, I don't care what they doing. You go, if they go jump off a bridge, are you going to? Everybody's parents said that at one point. You know? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I am struggling with this. I'm not. I'm going to say this. Everybody, there was, there's been, I could, I noticed patterns. I noticed different ways of certain things, right? So there was a time where everybody was a synergist and a uh, life facilitator and all of these things, right? Then we went to the cycle of now I'm a life coach and mo motivational um, guidance, whatever, whatever, okay? And then you had, like, there's all of these waves of trying to 
self-identify their purpose pretty much and try to create these things to make them different or stand out or whatever you know the regurgitation of things that you find on google different other quotes and things like that listen these those individuals who are constantly focused on likes likes follows follows all of those things with no substance to like no substance to follow they're focusing on that because that makes them feel popular that makes them feel that legitimizes their place in the world so huh, that plays into the it psychology goes back to what huh Man. it goes back to what it pick goes back me, to, pick me, pick me. Sometimes people have gone through trauma, even if they were very good, good in school. Like you have people who are part of the in crowd in high school. They were very popular. Everybody loved them. But when they got into the other world outside of that nice world, cozy, you know, space of high school, whatever, they got to college at a bigger pond. They weren't that important anymore. So they had this overinflated sense of self and it's so important that when they were took out of that box got it it was like a shock and so okay. there's so many people who are trying to relive their high school days or they're trying to relive a point in their lives where they felt like they mattered okay. so that is where we get this um need for likes shares follows comments and bullshit okay? i f- i feel sorry for I feel sorry for us, um, our generation that grew up. And 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 why I say this is I I, I kind of man I'm I'm jealous of my mom and them. You know, we often talk about them and how they were. We often we often talk about them and how they were. They didn't have a lot of the information and they did things old school and. They were this and they were that, but I want y'all to notice that uh, mental health wasn't a big topic with them. Families were more together with them. The ideal of structure was placed upon them. So are we wrong or are they right? Because right now in this space, a lot of us and a lot of people always bring up this mental health talk, right? Mm-hmm. And I look at mental health in many different aspects because I am an advocate for mental health and I was in the military and I dealt with mental health a lot, right? I look at mental health as a double-edged sword, you know, because you can play the card when you see fit, right? Right? And we've even been on this panel playing the card for them, right? We don't know these people have any mental health issues. We assume these are grown adults that are choosing to buy likes, buy followers. And we're sitting here saying, well, maybe they went through something as a kid to where they need to do that. No, I'm going to tell you what it is, right? They lack accountability as adults. And that's just what it is, right? We're in a space, and y'all heard me bring it up earlier. For a long time, everybody's been getting a trophy for participating. I don't even understand. When we were growing up, that wasn't a thing. Oh, heck no. There were social economical classes. And it should always be that way because we get to see the hard workers and the people who actually work for things versus the people who want things handed to them and the people who don't work as hard as them. That's why we need these type of things in place to see the difference, right? Yep. We like to bring up mental health as an excuse. That's why I say it's a double-edged sword, but somebody's going to be looking at this and say, what about the people that do suffer from mental health? Well, I would like to say that my hats off goes out to them and I hope that they seek the help that they they properly deserve and desire in order to be a productive citizen in the United States of America if they choose to stay here. But listen, I am not going to walk around as if I 
have to keep in mind that this may be a person that suffers from this type of this type of thing because they don't want to accept accountability. We're in a space now where it's about who plays victim first. You, I it's just about said, who can pull out their phone the fastest and, and record. It's not about who's we right. We just or wrong. had this conversation, did we not? So, so I can't, I can't keep the the mental health in my mind, right? Because let you tell it, I can pull up three three instances right now where they tried to play the mental health card on site, but come to find out they didn't suffer from any form of mental health. They right. were just racist. It's a cop out. Okay. Indeed, indeed. So, so, so we're not going to, I, I, I understand. I really do get it. And, I, and you know, you got to be sympathetic and empathetic in order to not get canceled and all that. I don't care about cancel culture because I am the coach. So <laughs> at, at the Preach. end of the day, there, that is not my job to give these grown individuals who lack accountability the excuse of mental health because I know people as a military veteran, as a military veteran that literally does suffer from PTSD, from these disorders that we speak of. Indeed, indeed. So we will not play these games, especially if you were not clinically diagnosed, prescribed anything or diagnosed with anything. You guys want to be honorary doctors, and I'm sure we're gonna get into that so bad. Oh, we're gonna get into these honorary doctors. But Google does not make you a professional. YouTube University does not make you a professional. When you get wounded, do you want an honorary to work on you or do you want the professional to work on you? I don't have time for people out Indeed. here on the internet trying to diagnose themselves and others because you lack accountability. Because let you tell it, I'm everything under the sun just because I don't agree. You buying likes and followers, of course. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna drop the mic. So we're gonna drop the mic. And and, and God, let me let me address some comments because I know you probably can't well, you can't see the Facebook comments unless you're on your phone. But um the, um Darrell is really he said talk that talk, Danny. He said, Yes, people definitely use mental health a lot. Um, and um he said, Y'all gonna make these folks mad. Well, this is the thing, you know. One of the things I have always said is that you don't have to like me, but you will respect me. Because one thing about Lily May, I'm going to present to you online and offline as Lily May is. Hence the reason I branded my name. I didn't have to create something else. I am Lily May. And something else about this mental health thing and about these life coaches and life facilitators. I'm not knocking the coaching certifications. But excuse me if I have a problem with the fact that I had to go through 48 degree completion hours. If you can't do the math, that's 16 courses by three credit hours per course. And I had to sit through 4,000 clinical hours to then have to sit under another practitioner for 1,500 more hours for free and work with clients for the state of Virginia to tell me that I can now get paid as a clinician. So excuse me if I have a problem with all of these coaches because you cannot sit through a week long or a six week course and learn all there is to know about the DSM-5, about psychotropic medications, about the theories of psychotherapy. You can't. So for me, I'm going to keep it real, Danny. A lot of the people that I'm seeing, you know, with this whole thing with these likes and followers, my issue is that I do have that clinical knowledge. So I'm looking at you and see a lot of them I talk to also. So now I'm combating with the fact that I know you on social media, 
But I also know you when you pick up the phone and call me at three o'clock in the morning because you having these issues. You follow where I'm coming from? Now, I'm, I'm putting all of this picture together because just because I'm on the legal side now doesn't mean that my clinical brain is turned off, right? So now I'm trying to understand, okay, how can I help them? Because why I want to help. I want to help. And guys, just so you know, this isn't to attack anybody. You know, there was a post, and I don't know if it was you, Danny, somebody wrote this, that things like this are informational and educational. It's not an attack unless you don't want to hold yourself accountable for the things that you're doing. And so I want, I do want you to understand this is not an attack, but I think each of us in our own way are merely passionate about authenticity. We are passionate about our respective entities. You know, there are people right now, and, and Chandra, just to go back to media outlets. So guys, when we as media outlets receive emails for events, we often have to um, RSVP. And I don't know about all, you know, entities, but the powers that be will decide whether or not your outlet is worthy to come out and cover the event. And what has happened, your worth is now decided by someone who is looking at the numbers you have. Now, you could have 5,000% engagement, but only have 2,000 followers. You could have a million followers and have 0.000000005% engagement and be invited or be approved. So now... Some people take that disapproval to heart and they say, I'm not worthy. I'm not one of the cool kids. I don't matter. Versus you have other people who are like, okay, on to the next. Let me work on events and with people that actually need me. Because there's a place for everybody. So with that, I'm saying, guys, I understand that these people want you to have a massive amount of likes and followers, but I pray that the day will come that the quality of the story and the fact that you're actually telling the story versus posting pictures just to say you were with somebody to gain likes and followers. I pray that the powers that be will begin to look at people that are truly trying to tell the story because there are some dope you know, small outlets out here. Like, you know, Chandra said that her outlet may not be one of the massive ones. To me, you always tell a story and you tell a dope ass story. And I think it's it's sad that I go to these red carpets and I'll see a hundred thousand people on the red carpet. And even to the point where a lot of these influencers, if they don't get invited, they apply as media so they can get to the red carpet. These Correct. are the issues with these likes and followers. Like, what, how, how, why, when will we actually begin to embrace storytelling again? Oh, we, you know what? It's a lot of work. And to actually do the work takes time. It's not instantaneous. It's not microwave. It is work. So with social media being such at our fingertips, where you can snap a picture and not tell the story and everybody makes up their own story around said picture, or using a caption that may, mis may, may allow for misinterpretation of said picture, all of these things play into that instant gratification that people have been receiving and have been conditioned, conditioned to receive. So therefore, the time it takes to tell the story is no longer valid. They don't want that. It's not a necessity anymore. Because like I said, a picture is worth a thousand words. 
They don't want the thousand words no more. They just want the picture. So that's why everybody's rushing to take these selfies or walk this red carpet, even though they may only be on the red carpet. They are not invited to the event. They just scrolled up, saw the backdrop, snapped the picture, said they were there, and that's it. There's no way to tell the story on why they were there or if they were legitimately there. So this is where the a lie will go farther than the truth. Or a, how do I put this? A curated story, narrative or tale will go farther than what really happened, the reality of things. So this is where we, as a, as a, as a, we, 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 we in some, we, I think this is the last days that our grandparents was talking about. Yeah. Okay. It's not the last day of the world coming in. It's the last days of authentic journalism, authentic storytelling, authentic curation of the story of how someone got, got there. Cause there was a wave. Let me, I just got a segue. Where, there was a wave of everybody was homeless and they become CEO. Remember that? where everybody was homeless and struggling and now they six-figure CEOs. I just want y'all to go back. Oh no, it's a whole lot of six and seven-figure CEOs and I'm trying to figure it out, but okay. I just need you all to go back to that narrative that was had us in the chokehold for a long time, okay? Um, This is where that is. It just went further. Now it's shorter. You know what I'm saying? Now it's, I walked the red carpet. I saw, you know, after I took this picture, I met Tyler Perry. We had a long talk. He was telling me about Medea. I told him how to curl Medea hair to make that curl be quite right. You know, that kind of stuff. People just be in their head making up stuff to make the, it is, it is what it, it y'all got to um, see through this minutia that's we're being sold at this point. I'm, I'm often surprised at, at us, man. I, I, I really am. I'm not going to lie. Because even after we say all this, people will look at this and say, we're hating. Or you'll say, why do you care, right? I don't. And I want to get back to the why do you care, right? Okay. I feel like that's a defensive tactic to use <laughs> in order to not look at self. It and just is up. what it is. That's just like me saying, like, if I get to talking about slave trade or something like that, and, you, and I, somebody looks at me and say, well, why do you care? You're not a slave. And I'd be like, you know what? You're right. I shouldn't care. Shut you up. And it's like, no, these things, these people are so small minded. They don't understand that it affects us as a people. So I don't, I don't think that people understand that concept of if you're doing all this with no said foundation behind you, then who are you really? Who are you really but a name? And, and that, that's just real. Like, like you just said, you can go to an event and take a picture and say you were there. What was your purpose though? And a lot of people will look at this and say, well, at least they were there, but all you're doing is wanting to be a part of the show. You're not a main character. You're not a contributor. You're, you're not anything, a writer. You're not, you're not a contributor to the show. You're just there, right? So you're adding to the monetary gain of the show. That's all you're doing, you know? You're just an unpaid extra. That That's like, all it is. Don't realize advertiser. You, I don't think people really like, and I had to really, you know, and, and y'all know, I keep it, I keep it a book. Like I try to be, you know, as transparent as possible. And before moving to Atlanta, it was very, very interesting to me how, I was like, oh, wow, you know, Atlanta, da, 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 da. So I get here mm. and my purpose and my why for my platform got distorted because I began to listen to the people whom I thought were movers and shakers. They were guiding me on the way to truly solidify what realistically was already solidified before I got here, but I guess I was supposed to do it the here way. What's the here way? I'm sorry. And, 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 and well, the here way is come to this event, hmm. 
take pictures with all these people oh mm -hmm. post the pictures tag me i'm the plug let them know i invited you and bam or it is because you know me if i see something going on i'm gonna be like okay hey i see this is going on you know where are your deficiencies what do you need help with because i come from a space where you bear one another's burden and so in being taught that i don't like to see us look bad like i like for our stuff to be organized i like for our stuff to be intact now i don't know about y'all charge you will know where i'm coming from danny g i don't know about you i come from a very traditional baptist church and i come from a pretty affluent baptist church so you already know when you grow up in that environment like every little nuance gotta be in place i'm gonna raise my church finger on this <laughs> go on girl take it away you I'm already know. and I had to learn this lesson. Let people learn they own on their own. Oh, I I, I got it. With you, my mom closed her you, eyes, you I got it. Your, your cape is burnt. Like you cannot put your super. I'm speaking from my own experience. Absolutely. Put, stop putting on that super safe cape. And because one, that's not appreciated sometimes. Well, a lot of oftentimes it's not it's appreciated. Not. It's not. And two they're not going to see the value in you no they do that's the that's the part uh -uh. they, they do, do but they don't around. They tell you yeah. they're only telling you they see the value in you but they don't want to compensate you for that value and that's yeah, why i said they do but they don't right no 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 they don't you can't say they do but they don't because at the end of the day if they don't see the value they can see it's 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 there's no other way around it they either see the value or they don't. They can't do both. You got to pick a side. You got to do it because that seeing the value. No, they're looking at you as a free resource. They're not going to go and tell everybody else like, yo, she stepped in. She helped me when I needed the help. That will never come across their lips. Okay. So it's not that they see Shout the value the and they don't. Family. No, they don't see the value, period because there's no two ways around it and so when you freely offer your assistance that you have freely opened the door for bullshit you freely open the door for disrespect you freely open the door to be used and in this culture at the moment kindness is weakness kindness shows that the, it's not valued anymore like if it was back in the day like i'm just saying like, like i'm not you know like i'm Back in the day. No, you're Before, right. You're right. So this is what I'm saying. You can't have both. You can't have it both ways, but you also have to be, have that discernment where you've worked hard on your skill set, your knowledge, your expertise, right? You don't see the bank stand on the corner, just get, oh, you look poor. Let me get this. You look poor. Let me get this. You look poor. They not doing that. You're not Jesus. <laughs> you're not Buddha. You're not, no, you know what I'm saying? You're none of those things. So you, we do not have that deciding factor anymore. Remove that off the table. Indeed. People do not value you free. They don't value that. Even though it is something that can make their business grow, if you give it to for free, they will not appreciate it. You will be rarely, you will find someone that would appreciate that knowledge, that expertise that did not come with a price tag. That's it. That's all. Like that. Let's because let's, let's get into them honorary. That's why we have these honorary doctorates out here. Let's go. Okay. So guys, so just to kind of recap, we we legit we we started off talking about meta verified and verified, and we wanted to make sure we distinguish between the two, and we also kind of talked about why these things exist, but also some of the concerns about the meta-verified side of things, um, and then we began to talk about likes and followers, which um, kind of uh, generated more of a discussion on behavioral health, um, personalities, um, childhood traumas, and things of that nature. And now we are going to um, address the honorary doctorate situation, um, <laughs> the state of affairs on these honorary doctorates. Oh gosh. Um, 
Okay. I have a question for y'all before. Uh, please, yeah. <laughs> please, please, Danny, because I'm, I'm. I just, I just have a simple question, Miss Sandra. Sandra, you can answer as well. Um, what has, and and just let me know what has Miley Cyrus and Justin Timberlake uh, done detrimental to science, the culture, or to impact the world? What you mean? Would they have benefited? What What have they brought no, to the table? What What have they done? What have they done to impact us as a culture, scientifically, or impact the world? And and culture, I mean, like human culture. I would think, like USA. Can y'all name anything? Um, they made some music. Um. You know what? Don't ask me this question because I ain't got no answer. Okay. Because that's not up to me. Lily. Somebody else may say that they gave, they they provided value to the culture. They provided value to human race. Whatever they say, I don't, you know, like a whole lot. I don't, I don't know at this point because it's like um, they they were in the industry. That's all I Okay. Got. Lily, do you, do you, can you answer that question? Well, all I know is the Nobel Peace Prize exists. Um, there's a Presidential Medal of Honor. Mm -hmm. um, but <laughs> I'm still figuring it out. I don't know. So and, I, and I, I just asked this because, right, it, it, it leads into the segue. These two people have honorary doctorate's degrees. And oh, I saw a to, bunch of people that got and honorary in order to receive an honorary doctor's degree, you have to impact scientifically, well, no, culturally. You can go online and submit. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the, the Wait school, a minute. I, I Hold up. Pause. Pause. Flag on the play. Are you kidding me? Now, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know about the applying for it. I just knew that, uh, I knew that if the school deemed you to be of importance scientifically, culturally, or you impact the world, then that is when you're supposed to receive okay. an honorary doctor's degree. Shout out, okay, yeah. hold up. Shout out to Ebony um, over at EPI, because Ebony <laughs> said, she said, well, first of all, she said she feels embarrassed. Uh, wait a minute, y'all, y'all got to see these comments. Let me just read the comments. So shout out to Ebony for the EK over at EPI. She said, fake universities, she said they are given degrees in church choir stands. Okay, okay, <laughs> let's pause. Let's no, pause. <laughs> no, all you gotta do is prepare your resume. Um, and you, I'm actually like, I'm going to be, I did my research before we got on here. Okay, there are so many online places that are required you make a donation to get an honorary doctorate. Boom. Um, there's so many different ways to get one of these amazing degrees so that you can put doctor in front of your name. Um, you know, I feel like some of these people not Dr. Seuss, Dr. Javago, <laughs> Dr. Strange, none of that. Uh, I don't but, want no more green eggs and ham, Sam. I'm I had Dr. Seuss just, had an honorary doctor. I'm degree. just saying, like Dr. Pepper, they out here. You know what I'm saying? They they with oh, it. I feel like. Oh, and if okay. I see one more bishop or doctor, I'm over it. Okay, bless you. Whatever you want to do with your life, you want to. Uh, you want to make me. Mama proud before she died to say you 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 got a doctorate? Then do you boo boo? But well, okay, so okay. That's okay. Doctor, got to call name. you Doctor Pookie. Okay, I'm not doing <laughs> this. Okay, okay. <laughs> you get no respect from me. Okay, because, we're not doing. This. But but guys, I'm gonna be real. I equate these honorary doctorates with the Meta Verified Blue Check, and that's why I said we had to acknowledge it because listen to this. Why? I went to a. <laughs> oh, we got to talk about it. Well, we got to talk about it. Not acknowledge. Talk about it. Talk about it. So this Good. is my thing. Wait a minute. Get your sister, children. Get get T. Why did she say someone got? He just said someone got a hundred. 
<laughs> from a Christian <laughs> online school. And hey man, won't he do it? They probably was up there saying, I want to thank God and my mama. Yeah, for this. That was, yeah, I like to thank God, first of all. Yeah, I wait, mama but, okay. okay. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> wait. So, <laughs> like, power, like, what? I'm equating, and I equate this honorary doctorate with Meta Verified because of this. I agree with you. Now, now, thank you for that research because I didn't know you could apply. I went to a HBCU. I also went to a PWI. I went to a PWI first because I already knew I was going to turn up. So I needed to make sure I got that foundation before I got to the HBCU. But what I remember, endowments, you know, a lot of times, you make that big donation, baby. You get honorary doctorates. I mean, Missy Elliott got one. Yeah, but um, you know a what? lot of the she contributed to what she was supposed to. She got hers because of her work. She got hers yeah, because that was of like impact. music wise. Yeah, yeah. That, that you know what I'm saying. Like I just really, um, I just posted the link. But she doesn't call herself Doctor <laughs> Melissa either. And I think this is where I'm going with this. I have no issue. I have no big issue because I got a slight issue with it. And I got an issue with it. Once again, it goes back to those of us that really had to sit through this shit. That's and what it comes down to. Yeah. Dissertation. I got an issue. That's a slap in the face. With man. my pink, blue, and purple hair, I got an issue. Yeah, that's a slap I had to face. write a whole lot of papers. <laughs> but it's, it's I struggle because these people then start calling these folks doctor this and doctor that she, but the thing is she does not use the doctorate as she doesn't call herself dr Mita elliott okay she don't mm -hmm. say that and like i ain't even gonna lie i saw somebody thank you abby say they're a doctor or whatever and i'm like did you even know how look y'all if, if if they give me Ebony an honorary doctor's degree that. they give me an honorary doctor's degree y'all got to respect my doctor now I'm, I'm I'm meta verified now. I'm gonna get meta verified. I'm paying the fourteen ninety nine. Tell you, <laughs> I'm gonna call you with your mama named you and with your. I want to be verified. I want that doctor. <laughs> no, what you need to do, okay. And this is a plug for Zoom. If you can pay fourteen ninety nine for meta verified, would some of you six figure earners and CEOs invest in the twelve ninety nine to get the Zoom so you only so you can meet more than forty minutes? Because I'm concerned when I get on the Zoom call. When, you not going to do this to me. But I'm just okay. concerned. They just skipped like, over going to high school. And I'm a doctor. Um, yeah, we, you I, ain't I even like seen a doctor, a dentist, a podiatrist. You ain't seen a general practitioner, but you a doctor. Got it good. No, no. Maybe, maybe just uh, the space we live in, just it's cool. I don't know why us as black people picked up on this whole lying to one another thing for money. Because I don't I don't like how we picked up on that. Let's let's and, go ahead. I can tell you where the root of that came from. So if we go back to we, you know, everybody had an ice man. Now I Ron Busby said told this story, and I, you know, I've heard the story from my from my dad and stuff like that, right? So the ice man used to deliver ice around the neighborhoods, right? When a black man started doing it, the black people didn't respect his ice because they said the white man's ice was colder, even though the white man's ice was a couple of days more, was older, didn't last as long. But because the, the mindset of distrust was already put in place, you know what I'm saying? So therefore that actually, propelled us to kind of uh how to stretch the truth a little bit and lie about where they got the ice from and who they're delivering for they had to hide who they were to gain the trust of our own people so <clears throat> that lying that started that whole you know to, to to gain the trust of our own people that has been happening since slavery you know what i'm saying but they created the two different, you know, the two different classes or whatever. Those who worked in the house, those who worked in the field, the ones who were in the house were better than the others. So these are the things that have been plaguing us for generations. So now it's transformed. Now it's the modern times. I don't know if y'all ever seen American Gods or whatever, where they had, where everything 
keeps progressing and I am changing to fit the times. This is just another way of changing to fit the times. Because one thing you like, if you, if a, hold up, a speaker hits you up and say, hey, I've spoken on these stages, I've done this, pay me $2,000 and you can join me on the stage. They don't see the con right there. They don't see it because this person has elevated themselves. And so they're presenting themselves on a lie. You know what I'm saying? So, and the one person who's legitimately doing it and that doesn't have a fee attached to it, the mistrust is already there. So that's, that is, I just want us to understand where this comes from, where in a whole, this is where this comes from. That's why people are so hell bent on getting these honorary doctorates and stuff like that, because it makes other people believe it makes those who are not as there you go. open-minded they don't question that those who are not as open-minded and don't ask questions don't question it because oh they're a doctor so they know what they're talking about not knowing that they got theirs from the online institute of the little rock on the side of jericho um university of devry institute you get what i'm saying so those are the things that as a people we don't look we don't go that deep we don't ask questions we don't so ever cool. want to rock the boat. And me, uh, me being me personally, I'm going to ask questions. I'm going to rock the boat and I mm -hmm. might get kicked off the boat and I really don't care because I can swim. Yeah. That's it. That's it. So you I know. just, I, I didn't mean, I just want everybody to understand that, that is the problem. That is something that we have to break. They talk about breaking generational curses by buying stuff and, you know, buying land and stuff. Let's start with our mindset, please, so that we can appreciate <laughs> the things that we want to do with building wealth and things like that. Because no matter what, how much money we get is the way that we think and the way that our mindset is, it's going to always keep us in that same boat. Um, I, I want to, I just want to say, can we not even talk about generational wealth? And, and, I, and I'm, I'm sick of it. And I'm going to tell you why I'm sick of it. <laughs> These babies need the generational wealth that is not tangible. These grown folk need generational wealth that's not tangible. You cannot talk about breaking any kind of financial curses or whatever the hell going on until we deal with that stuff that's deeply rooted in us that caused us to be irresponsible. You know, we're, you not, we're not breaking the generational curses that occurred because you needed to get that itch tickled and your child got messed with in the process. We're not talking about the stuff that really needs to be addressed before we can even start talking about buying land and all these, everybody want to be an entrepreneur. Well, somebody got to work for somebody. Well, it's all about the mindset. It's all about changing that narrative that we have in our heads about how things work. And I get it. Everybody wants to get out of the, the cycle of poverty or the cycle of not having, but it's the way we are going about it that we're not, we're going to continue the cycle, even though we have all these people are making all this money and they end up in jail because they still have that mindset. So it, it, no matter what I'm happy, like, I'm not trying to be rich. I'm not trying to have all this, you know, that kind of stuff. I just want to be comfortable with my children to have ability and have the things that they need and I can't speak for anybody else but the the mindset it all starts with the mindset and changing that and that's all it takes like and that's what I'm saying these honorary degrees this meta subscription all of these things are playing into that lack of mindset that we feel like we're lacking something if no one tells us that we are great and perpetuating the cycle of poverty I don't, and, and I don't think people understand, you know, so when you say, why do you care what people do? I care what people do because everything that we do affects one another. Guys, don't people we don't that. exist in this world by ourselves. Yeah. What yeah, you I'm do here. gonna affect me eventually. If it didn't matter, why do you care when somebody gets shot down in the street then? Right. Since why do we care what, you, what you people do? You can use that logic with everything and it and it, it will be like a finger pointing episode. Like, yeah, back at like you. Like, I just don't. 
It's a tactic. It's, yeah, it's a it defense matters. tactic. That's all it is. It matters. Why do y'all care so much? Because it affects us. Now what? What's up? That's it. But and so many people care about self, and they and don't care about self nobody. But self. Mindset is it's 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 you know it's a whole like I, I, I I'm kind of like how do I put this? I I have this thing where it's like. I, I want to, I'm, my business is important to me, but my authenticity to myself, yes, it keeps me from compromising self when I'm working with individuals, yes. Yes. because there are certain mindsets that don't gel with me and all money and good money. That's so, it. That's and it. this is where I, I pride myself in understanding the individual or the, the businesses that I'm working with, because if they are perpetuating the same stereotypical BS, I don't want no parts of it. I, I I know how you know. I know how that really goes for people. I know how that makes people feel. But you know, well, how you take it? Don't provisions will always be provided for those who are doing the right. Amen. I agree. You know what I'm saying. So I agree. I, I really, agree. I really. This this conversation is more than just about the subscription and That's the it. likes and all that other That's stuff. It. It's more about empowering us and i hate to use empowering but in, in giving the spark for us to think differently giving the spark for us to understand that we do have to do some soul searching for us to advance and for us to understand that some things are just not for us it's just not man it, it, it a lot a lot of these things are, are draining I, I don't understand how people don't get that to, to want to always to fit fit in with every crowd should be draining for you it should That's be it. draining for you. That's it. Like, That's just it. be who you That's are, it. and your crowd will flock to you genuinely. That's it. And in that crowd, you be as genuine and as a great of a person that you could potentially be. And you being in that crowd over there, it mm -hmm. won't matter to me because y'all over there doing productive things that are helping people over here and over right. there and over there. Mm -hmm. But like you said, people have this one-sided mindset to where if it isn't me and if it doesn't benefit me, then guess what? Who cares? I've seen so many yeah. people say, if it doesn't affect my family, then why do, why do I care? Because now you've affected your family by not caring. And it's, it's so many people want their purpose given to them instead of searching in themselves and seeing what their purpose is that's yeah. why you see people reinvent themselves so many times because it's not mm. authentic. it's very plastic and it's not real and you know how hard it is to keep up fake you know how hard it is to keep up a, because you're basically lying and you, draining. you're not going to remember you're not going to you're not going to be able to maintain that because it's not real. So whenever you see these people reinvent themselves over and over again, or they came out, I got to do this, I got to do that, I'm doing this. Who are you? Do you even know who you are? It's hard for us to support the people that we do know. You know, we, we have this cognitive thing within our mind to where they're not famous enough for us. You know, they're not even big enough for us to even look at or support or even acknowledge. That's you ask it. people who just start doing hair or just start doing nails or just start doing something. Their goal is to be a celebrity, blah, 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 blah. Uh, don't go there. Please don't go like there because I'm sick of these people. Done. I'm sick of this. A celebrity interviewer, a celebrity maker. It's like, what, a it's like you don't care the about the people. You don't care about, you don't care. No. You don't care about building up who you are. No. You don't care about your no. brand. You don't no. care about the work. You don't care about the passion behind said thing because all you're doing is I'm going to do enough heads to where uh, K. Michelle comes in town. And once she's in town, I'm officially. And you're going to do her hair for free. For free. And, and then, then what you going to call yourself a celebrity hairdresser. And what you going to say to the common people now? We know your next status is prices going up. For who today's price, saying today's price. If you for need who to go get us. that for Y'all don't That's say true. Well, for the Not people who behind down for the people who knew that you got that mannequin December first, two thousand twenty-one, when you posted it. For the people who knew that you got them nails in October twenty-fifth, two thousand twenty, when you started. But yes, now that Bubba Blind Town, they get a free manicure, pedicure, and the prices for us 
the support is going going up. up. That's it. You're right. It's it's, it's weird. It's that's why we care. Like we said, our mindset is so thrown off. It's like we want to attach ourselves to something already established, already Mm -hmm. established, already established. That meta verification that's already established, man. And it's only fourteen ninety nine. Let me get that. That that doctor's degree. Oh shit, that's uh, people already got a doctor. The work. The work. Yeah. That's I got it. mine without no student loans. Well, good for you, <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Listen, listen. It's you know, guys, and, and we're gonna um we're gonna start winding up. We got about 15 minutes, so we're gonna start winding up and giving final thoughts. But first and foremost, I want to say, guys, thank you so much. Um, I think this is beautiful, and I don't th- think this should be the last time. I think this should be the beginning of um conscious conversations about just the state of affairs in our communities, guys. You know, um, I am very opinionated. You guys know I'm very opinionated. I'm very convicted. Um, I am also not easily persuaded, not easily um, amused either. And, um, but these two individuals caught my attention because cliche they dare to be different um they understand the status quo but they don't necessarily go along with it all the time um they understand the importance of these numbers to the quote powers that be close the quote but they also understand the importance of being a decent human being. They understand the virtues. They understand the fruits of the spirit. They understand that everybody has a six by six waiting on them. That's it. And I think that when I think about everything we've discussed today, what I know is that when you're born into this world, you're born and given a name. When you leave this world, you only have that name. None of these things are going to go with you in that dirt. From dust you came until dust you will go. And even if you go in a little box or urn, you still only have your name. So. My charge to you is, what will you choose? The name you look to the world to give you or that name you were given when you were born into this world? Because as for me and mine, I will proclaim Lily Mae Jones to the day that I die because I'm proud of who I was born to and I'm proud of who I was able to become. So I don't need your approval. I don't need you to approve that invitation. I don't need to be on your A-list because I want to be on the scroll. I want to make it through. I don't want anybody to have to question where I am when I close my eyes. So the celebrities that I follow were the two that brought me into this world because they left a legacy that didn't need a blue check. And I'm done. Guys, what are your final words? I want, and I want everybody to understand something, right? When, like I speak my father's name all the time because I want his his memory and him to, to be here, right? So when you leave this earth or leave this, this, this consciousness or whatever, how do you want to be spoken about? Do you want to be forgotten or do you want to be remembered or do you want to be infamous? You get what I'm saying? So the things that we're doing now will, we won't ever see how they affect or impacted anybody until after we're gone. So always, I keep that in mind because I don't want to, I don't want my children to have to defend me when I'm not here. I don't want them to have to go to war because for me, because I did something to someone or I said something to someone. 
you know, or, you know what I'm saying? I was, infl- I was, I, I lived a life of infamy where m- n- people are going to be happy that I'm gone. You get what I'm saying? So this, I say that to say personally, from my personal view, I want to live, I don't live my life this way because I want acceptance or because of that. I live my life this way because that's the way I was, that's the way I'm supposed to for myself. And the unneeded burden on my children, because that's the only people that I really value, because though they will be directly affected by my actions today. They didn't ask to be here. I brought them here. So that's where at the end of the day, that's the only thing that matters to me. And what I do now, the legacy that I build now has to be a reflection that they're going to be proud of. So they don't have to change their name when they come on these internet streets. You get what I'm saying? So that they can proudly be who they are and walk in that and know and listen. You know what I'm saying? My mama set the, set the standard for how I'm going to act out here. And it's not to act like common common hooligans and with the shenanigans. You get what I'm saying? So this, for any brand, any individual, any business, conduct that conduct yourself in that way. Put that in perspective before you decide to, you know, go out here and get these... Oh, your children should not have to defend why you got a degree, an honorary doctorate from the DeVry Institute. Okay, that's all I'm saying. Do what you want to do, take it how you want to take it, but don't be setting your children up to, to have be fighting in the streets because somebody said something about your, your... I, that's all I got. Y'all follow me. <laughs> I want to say it's, uh, it's more beneficial to be a good person. That's, that's what I would like to say. Uh, the benefits of being a good person far beyond outweigh the 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 cons of being a bad person. Uh, I would like to challenge people to be your authentic self in every way, shape, or form. And within you being your authentic self, I hope that this encourages people to support who you are and to see your vision and what you stand for. Because we all have purpose like Miss Sandra said, we just have to literally go out and find it. And that takes work. That takes searching. That takes not going out. That takes getting yourself together. And when you incorporate all these things into your life, health, fitness, wealth, mentality, fix, all these, you will encompass being a quote unquote great person. I don't understand why people choose to attract this negative entities versus just simply exiting that out their mind and continuously looking towards a positive purpose. It takes training your brain and that's hard. I understand it, but guess what? You can do it. And like they are saying that when you do these type of things, it helps grow not only yourself, but your circle around you. And at the end of the day, when you're laying on your back, who do you want to be and what do you want to be known for? Do we know you as this page or do we know you for who you are? And I want to be known for Danny G. <laughs> you know what I'm Y'all, it's been real, guys. And, and the crazy thing is when you do things in decency and in order, it always comes together. You know, We had an amazing time. You know, we talked junk. We were subliminal. We were direct. We gave our opinions. We gave facts. But the beauty is that the purpose behind why came out at the conclusion of the segment, as it should. It's called a call to action. And what that simply means is, guys, Search within yourself. And when you're building these platforms and you're building these brands, what is your mission? What is your vision? And what is your purpose? And once you figure that out, it feels so good. It feels so good. I swear, y'all, it feels good. And like Danny said, when you really operate in your why, You look at the invitation and you keep on moving because you're not supposed to be everywhere all the time. That's it. 
hands down. Chandra, Danny, thank you so much, Man, thank guys. You, Lily, Make that. sure y'all shout out your social media because I need people to follow you, guys, for real. Now, I don't know if she's taking clients, but <laughs> I, I, I got to give y'all this. So I booked a consultation. Yeah, I know her. Known her for a while via social media, but I booked a consultation. Because people's time is valuable. And it was a 15-minute consultation. And 15 minutes turned into a long time. (laughs) But guys, guess what happened? At the end of that 15-minute consultation, it turned into over an hour. I left with a deliverable. It didn't cost me $14.99. Guys, I left with a deliverable. I left with a product. Something that I can now take and generate what from it? (laughs) Revenue. Mm -hmm. Leads. Guys, if you are not getting a deliverable, rethink it. And all the time, like I said, revenue is tangible, but a lead is somewhat intangible. But that lead could lead into something bigger than you that could then help your team or your family. So I think all of our message today is collective impact. Let's impact the collective by beginning with the changing of our mindset. Guys, shout out your social medias or websites so people can connect with you. Well, you can visit uh, chandragorconsulting.com or conversationswithchand.com. Choose to follow, subscribe, or whatever you want, whatever you feel that moves you. I'm not going to ask people to follow me because, hell, sometimes I don't even know where I'm going. So I'm not going to, you're not going to, I'm not going to ask you to follow me because you'll be sitting at home looking at the wall because. <laughs> Well, I'm going to tell you to follow me too. I don't even, nobody know where I live and know it. Never mind. Y'all have a great day. Follow, you know, go to my website, figure out what y'all want to do. I ain't asking you to do nothing, but that's it. No, it's crazy. I'm like that as well, but. <laughs> did he freeze? We're going to take up something in $14.99 for this connection. You never did that. But guys, y'all can follow him at Danny G-E-E. But the best thing you can do is instead of that $14.99, go over to, Am- to Amazon and type his name in and get his word search. Um, I thought that was dope. Danny G has a word search, a book of word search. Positive vibes only. And I don't know where mine is, but I'm so excited. Go ahead and put that on my bookshelf on my Amazon live stream. Danny, um, if you get this message, go to my <laughs> website. Um, and you know, if you want to chat with me on Amazon Live, I got you. I'll get the book. Uh, she be making money. She she'll teach you how to get deliverables. <laughs> you know what? Do not do that. Because listen, uh, don't nobody yeah, ask me for no money because I ain't got none. Don't do that. And daddy old froze. Lord, we got to help daddy. So when we get off of here, we're gonna have to see. Maybe, maybe they mad because he's not verified and they done messed up his connection. No, we my, gotta I verify mean, that even my Zoom. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, Lily. I ain't got time for this. It's been real, guys. It's your girl Lily May. Thank you for tuning in. I hope something you said can be utilized. I'm not gonna do a benediction because I said too many bad words, but I love you. Peace and love, and we're always here to bring you joy, jewels, and serve justice. Have a great evening, ladies and gentlemen.